Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me, and today is Saturday, January 9th, and holy hell, has it been a roller coaster throughout the world with everything that happened with the insurrection and just all the uncertainty and uh, Twitter banning Trump's account and this, that, and the other thing, just wow. Um, but you know, I'm not going to get political on this channel. I'm not going to say my piece, just wow. Um, so s jumping into part of la um, Wednesday's video where I was talking about like having the pain in my kidneys and stuff, um, I ended up going to the hospital and they said that everything was fine, that I didn't have any glucose and my I didn't have any glucose, didn't have any high levels of protein or anything else, no UTIs. Um and so uh the doctor thinks that it's just overexertion from um physical activity and from uh bending and lifting and stuff like that. Um, the more that I think about it, the more I think she was right, and um, I think a lot of it also has to do with my bed. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I realized that my bed has kind of a dip in it, so I probably need to flip the mattress, but I just got it all set up like a few months ago for how I wanted it to be, and so I don't know. I'm going to continue to wait it out and see how this works, but yesterday I went on a really nice walk. I did a trail that I've done before in the past and um, really just enjoyed that walk. Um, ended up doing a little over three and a half miles and um, on top of my back hurting like hell. And so by the time I got to the car, um, I was barely able to <laughs> fold myself up to get into the car, and I just sat there for a minute like, <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> but uh, I came home and I took a Flexerol, and uh, that seemed to help just kind of clear things up for me. So, um, yeah, I was re really happy to get the prognosis that... Um, it wasn't my kidneys or anything else really bad. Um, and I'm supposed to be starting a new medication that helps with maintaining blood sugars and also is supposed to help with weight loss. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. It's like Robaxton or something like that. It's a brand new uh, jug on the market. And um, I was actually supposed to start that back in December, but I didn't pick it up until just recently because I didn't have the money for uh, my medication. And so, yeah. Um, but I have a doctor's appointment coming up on the 28th, I believe it is. So he said, go ahead and start it now and keep the appointment and we'll um, see what happens afterwards and go from there, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, there's all that. Um, but, yeah, man, this week, it seems like this week has just gone by so slow. Like, I just, I hate it sometimes because I'm doing things that I, I'm doing whatever I can to keep my depression and my mental health, like, under control, but it just feels like the day drags out <clears throat> especially here in the Pacific Northwest and with it being daylight savings time like it starts getting dark around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and by 5 or 6 it's pitch black midnight outside and on top of it all we've had torrential downpours to the point where it's caused all kinds of problems and there's a ton of fog and we really haven't had any sunny days and so just one thing after another with the weather and you know not having that vitamin D or the sunshine to kind of lizard in you start to get depressed 
Um, <clears throat> so I've been playing video games a lot more lately. Um, I got my PS3 all hooked up and I started uh, playing Batman Arkham City and that game is so infuriating. I'm just like, it's fun, but at the same time, it pisses me off. And I feel like the controls are limited and all this other stuff. And this isn't a gaming channel, so I'm not going to go into it. Because 90% of you probably don't care about me playing video games. Um, or all of you don't care about me playing video games. But anyways, um, yeah, so just been zoning out on video games, trying to watch stand-up. Um, I just figured out how to watch like Netflix and Amazon Prime and stuff like that on my PS3 so now I have been watching more movies and stuff um, because otherwise my TV just kind of sits there and like takes up space um, I have a television in the living room here um, I never use it it's a great TV and it's got a Roku attached to it. And my bedroom television has a Roku attached to it. But I just never use them. And so I do. I watch all my TV on my computer. And I stream a lot of stuff. And yeah, so whatever. Um, but anyways, for, as for today, I am going to be going over and hanging out with my sister. And I gotta go do a little bit of grocery shopping and stuff like that, so that should be fun. Um, I called her up and she's already in a mood, so I'm like, well, yay me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just really nothing much to report today. I mean, with all the news and all the other crap that's going on, just, I hope you guys are safe and... Please don't do anything stupid. Like, I know that there's supposed to be, like, demonstrations and stuff <clears throat> all throughout the nation over the next couple of days. And I just pray that you and yours are protected, safe, sane, and that you guys don't partake in them. Because at the end of the day, we have to remember that we are going to be together and I don't know I, I just I pray and I hope that everyone will be safe sound and blessed I'm not going to put out that negativity do, do what you guys feel like you need to do if you need to do it I just hope that you don't and um I'm going to step away from that now and just say, um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. Um, I'm also thinking about starting to do collabs with people and, um, doing more Q and A sessions. So get your Q and A's sent to me, uh, good, bad, right, wrong, and indifferent, I will look at them all, and if it <clears throat> is something that I can answer, I will answer, and we can go from there. So, you can send me your um, Q&As to hellocupcakeitsme at gmail.com. You can um, reach, out me, reach out to me um, by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Or, um, yeah. And as always, you know, you guys can follow me over on social media. Um, Instagram is Michael Scott Peterson, S O N, not S E N. Follow me on the blog, hello, cupcakeitsme.com. And that was something else that I was going to talk to you guys about. So, um, random acts of miracles is something that I'm going to start trying to implement. And, um, with the random acts of miracles, I want to instill this with you guys that it's okay to do for other people without without except without expecting good things to return to you 
without being part of a social um, spotlight. Like, so if you're doing something good for, say, a homeless shelter or a homeless person, you don't need to film yourself giving them a dollar cheeseburger from McDonald's or whatever. Do random acts of kindness, random acts of love, random acts of miracles, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling them random acts of miracles because you are bestowing a miracle upon somebody when you genuinely help them from the heart without expectation. And so, um, you know, give of yourselves. And I'd like to hear from you guys what you have done to improve someone's life, if even just for instance. Did you pay for the person's groceries that were ahead of you? Um, did you give somebody $10 for gas when you were at the gas station and they were like fumbling for change? Uh, did you pay for the coffees for people behind you? Uh, did you do it for several cars behind you? Did you... Like, what did you do to give of yourself selflessly? And um, I will start by saying that... I gave of myself recently, it was right around Christmas time, or just after Christmas, just after Christmas, I believe, and there was a lady at Walmart, and she had a huge stack of what I assumed were coupons, or just different kinds of, uh, just kinds of codes, or whatever, promos, and she had this pair of shoes and she looked at them and her whole demeanor changed and she put them back and my spirit just kept telling me watch her watch her prior to this so I'm sitting there and I'm watching her and when she put them back um, I saw that she was fumbling through her purse looking for change and stuff and I went over and I looked at the shoes and I flipped the price tag and I opened my wallet, took out the money, walked it over, handed it to her, and I'm like, hey, honey, let me put um, this blessing on you. And she's like, oh, no, 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 it's okay. I'm like, it's fine. You wouldn't have had the shoes in your cart if you didn't need them. Let me put this blessing on you, and when and if you're able to, bless someone else. Be blessed, and have a great day. And I walked away, and I just heard, heard her, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wasn't trying to hear all the thank yous. I wasn't doing it for the thank yous. I wasn't doing it for the recognition. I was doing it to try to help someone. And you guys know me. I don't have money to do it like that with. And this is before I received my stimulus check. And that stimulus has gone to paying bills and getting things taken care of. So... This was just my last $13 that I had on me. My bills had been paid. I had food. I had gas in my car. Everything was taken care of. And I was like, you know what? Here, let me bless you with this. And that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to put a blessing on somebody and walk away. And that's what I did. Now, if she actually bought the shoes or... If she just pocketed the money and put the shoes back after I left, that's on her. That's her karma. That's whatever she's got to do. My blessing was just giving her the means to take care of something that she wasn't going to be able to. So that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Give of yourself selflessly without expectation of repayment, without expectation of well, I just did this, so good things are going to come to me. Without the whole aspect of tit, tit for tat, without ego, without, like, everything that comes from that. I didn't hop on social media and be like, yeah, I'm about ready to help this woman out, blah, 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 watch me put a blessing on her. That's not what it's about. That's not what this video section is about. It's not about me trying to gain anything from anyone it was just me sharing a story so what are you going to do I challenge each and every one of you 
do something to improve someone's life, put a blessing on them, help them out. Um, you know, you'd be surprised what a little kindness does in this world. And like I said, don't do it for the glory. Don't do it for the recognition. Don't do it for expectation. Do it because it's the right thing to do and it'll make you feel better. So, okay guys, I'm actually going to let you go now. So, uh, questions, comments, concerns, section down below and I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys.